So basically my book is 10 basic recipes. And I always say to people, if you can make those 10 basic recipes, you can actually cook. And you can cook for family, and you can cook if you have guests coming over. Mm, it's also the way I cook for my children at home every night. I work most days and my children will have been brought up on Woolworths lasagna and they'll be brought up on the quintessential chicken nuggets and chips banged into the oven. And the one day Maya said to me, Mom, can you make lasagna? I was like, Maya, I am a cook. Of course I can make lasagna. So she goes, well, why don't you make it? And I was like, oh dear, okay. It's got to that point. I need to actually up my game. And I had no excuse. I'm a qualified chef. It's what I do every single day. And obviously I want my children to eat um, healthy, nutritious food. So I started making a few basics and they were fussy eaters. So when they were little, I thought it was going to be easy to feed my children. It was the complete opposite. Erin and Maya were nightmares. So I learned very early on how to hide good ingredients in their, in their favorite foods. One of my favorite things that I do is a big pot of bolognese mince and what I think is special about it is it's only 500 grams of mince but it's got a whole bag of carrots and it's got a whole bag of courgettes, a whole bag of two packets of mushrooms in it and that all gets grated in so the children are none the wiser. Also what I've started doing is adding two cups of lentils, red lentils. So they've got the flavor of the meat that comes through but they also have all the nutrition of all the veggies. And then what I do is I freeze bags of, of that mince and I put it into the freezer and if I've got a busy week or a busy day, before I go to work, I take out a bag, I know it's gonna be defrosted when I come home. I say to the girls, bolognese for supper or do you want it on toast, do you want it in a wrap, do you want it on a couscous? So lots of things that I can do with that mince. And then with the book, I've taken it a step further and made the meals a little bit more, not so much complicated, but a bit more interesting and not just Erin and Maya's bolognese that we have on a Monday night after a frantic day. one basic book that you can take and you can learn how to cook 10 things and then you can make a whole lot of other things from it. And the great thing is I say to my girls, I'm gonna leave you this book and you're gonna cook for your children the way I cook for you. If you can't make a recipe for my book, please phone me and tell me and I need to find out why. They are dead simple. Every single recipe, it, say, it says there like if it's easy to make or difficult to make or moderate to make, it's, they're, they're all easy, they really are. And I've also simplified them so there's not loads of points like the method is put all the ingredients into blender blend together and do x y and z so not like step by step by step it's just plain and simple and straightforward and the way i cook <laughs>